Hello and welcome to Performance Guru's channel. I'm here with Professor Vaidyanathan. Uh, Professor, uh, recent studies seem to indicate that the process of producing beef for consumption uh, is also one of the most uh, significant polluters in terms of carbon footprint. Uh, what are your thoughts on that? Which I have been telling for quite some time. Actually, you know, everybody is focusing only on cars and other things. Mm. In the, you know, currently the France, uh, the Paris meet and other things. Right. And unfortunately, India is also playing to the gallery. In the sense, whatever agenda is set by the West, we go along with that. Mm. And here and there, we make noises. Right. The significant uh, issue which India should focus is that there should be a ban on beef consumption globally. Mm. This is something which has to be put on the front foot. Mm. Mm. There are a lot of scientific studies which are coming out that in terms of water intensity, mm. in terms of chemical intensity. Mm. You see, people think that, you know, in general, non-vegetarian, but more beef is, it's not just, uh, you know, having a, you know, process, you know, killing a cow and eating or anything like that. Mm -hmm. It has become a massive industry, mm. which has its own, you know, input, output, norms and cost and other things. Right. And uh, I think uh, you are aware in many places, cows are given cow bones. That's As the feed which <laughs> uh, generated this mad cow disease. Mm. I think the lifestyle of West, yes. as well as people in Middle East and other things, must change. Mm. If you want to genuinely reduce carbon footprint. Mm. Mm. Actually, there are studies which say, compared to your car thing, mm. the beef thing is something like three to five times more. Mm. So, if you want to really reduce having odd number, even number, days, uh, car, driving a car or not driving a car or going by, those are okay, they are palliatives only, mm -hmm. if you ask me. Mm -hmm. But we have to go to the core of the issue. Mm -hmm. The lifestyle patterns of the West must change. Mm -hmm. They must go for less intensive processed food, mm -hmm. more in terms of, uh, you know, natural right, thing. Right. And uh, beef is particularly, I am not talking in terms of the holy cow point of view, mm -hmm. I am purely talking in terms of the intensity with which it uh, consumes water, right. power and so many other things. Mm. It's a, I think you are from US, you know, it's a huge industry. Mm. It's not one of those, you know, uh, what one can call a small industry. Right. So that is the reason why India should mm. put this uh, into the front burner mm. and uh, stress this point. Mm. Of course, tomorrow itself beef is not going to be banned, mm. but at least let us highlight Right. That uh, beef industry is as much a culprit as the automobile industry right. in right. terms of carbon footprint. Mm. Before others point it out to us right. that your coal consumption is the main reason for <laughs> uh, global warming and other things. Right. That is what has been my point. Mm. Yeah. Thank you very much, Professor.